Okay, next I want to talk about um, some of the effects moving forward now are I've never been great with delays live. Like I feel like I'm a very simple player and I'm simple in my means. And if I want to expand on an idea or a thought, I think in my hands and where I can go here. But on my last record, especially, I was in the studio and we wanted to add different elements to the performance. And what we did is the producer actually was in the control room and he was manning an old tape delay. And I thought that that was so cool because when I would go into a solo or I do maybe a certain riff, all of a sudden this delay would come in and it was like he was playing along with me. He was like essentially the fourth member of the band at that point. So the effects I want to talk about now are things that were very, very unique to the record, but also um, they mean a lot to me because they're super usable and you can go as far as you want out like psychedelic and you know, make make really cool sounds that you wouldn't really think about, you know, maybe on the daily, but also you can use this stuff in any context. And by simply clicking these on, it puts you in a different vibe. It puts you in a different headspace, which I love. So check this out. We're gonna go into this tape delay. Again, I have not touched any of the settings besides a little bit of reverb on that plugin, right? Or on the actual amp plugin. So I'm gonna come over here. I was going crazy. Let's do this. I'm gonna put this stuff the feedback and the level are pretty close to noon. I'll leave the time and the saturation where it is. Um, what's really cool is this tape age, right? You have the ancient, which gives you like some like legit kind of sound and it gives you a little bit more of that. Um, well, I can show you right now. Do you get that? You know, it's a, this, this feels like an, like it's on, you know, like when you turn your, your volume down and your pedals are on. Just puts you in a different headspace, right? Now check this out. I'm gonna go to that vintage, kill that sound, right? When you move that, it moves like a real delay too, which is so much fun. I'm gonna turn that time up. Tape delay level down. Saturation down, level up. Now I'm telling you, I have not sat here and like messed around with this like this. It's like simply just by playing it's putting me like somewhere like creatively that I didn't know I was going to do. So I think that's the best part because it's making music, right? And um, yeah, that tape delay is just sick. And then I'm thinking about this tape delay and I'm thinking about, you know, now going back to kind of my, those main three, those two overdrives and the octopus. So let's just say I have this tape delay cooking, right? Well, I can start to hit these overdrives. <laughs> So cool, here, I'm gonna go like this. Zip that time back a little bit. just awesome it's so cool like it's like kind of it's up to you like your creativity is kind of the end point with all this stuff because the more i mess around with any of these sounds the more i can kind of get out of them which is for me it's just super fun